What's going on? Wonderful people. Time for another out of this world story from our space. Wife of 11 years cheated for over a year. Karma. This is the story of my friend. More, he's like my rival, but I always admired him. He's one step ahead of me in everything. But we were each other's bros. For his privacy, let's call him William and his wife, Jane. The names aren't real. So fast forward. William married Jane when he was 23, and she is 25. And they have a boy together. They met in a trekking, and things went smooth. Jane was a smooth talker and a good woman. My wife is suffering from breast cancer, and she was there for her. Like, Jane was like an older sister to my wife. William never complained about her, but over a year ago, he mentioned Jane is super protective about her phone and acting cold. He said to me, they didn't have sex for over six months. And each time when he tries to initiate intimacy, she refuses. Even in their wedding anniversary, she came home at 4 a.m. I knew there was a bunch of red flags, and I told him that probably she might have been seeing someone. He said that he has been suspecting it for a long time, but he didn't want to believe that possibility. So it kept going on. Like she became a rare visitor to my wife. I told my wife this problem, so she agreed to identify it in a sneaky way. After the sneaky talk with my wife, my wife told me she's seeing a guy, but they are platonic, and he's a great mechanic. I knew where this was going, and my wife knew it too. I told William about the situation, but he said, Jade wouldn't do that. I'm sure. She's my girl. She wouldn't do such an act. I told him to hire a pie, and we can at least be okay. So he hired a pie, but he couldn't find any suspicious activities. After three months, he came up with a photo. That's all he got. The photo was she was holding hands of a guy walking out of a theater. So he called me, telling me he needed to talk. He looked like a total mess, like a guy who lost everything. He smiled at me and said, What have I done wrong? I know he's in a suicidal condition. So me and him went to a bar and drank to the bottom, and he opened up like. She was not what I thought of. She'd never do household chores for over three months. She only cares about our boy. All she gives me is a forehead kiss before and after bed. She tells me she's either tired or wants some space. What do I do? I knew he was broke. Over days, I told him he's not alone and build a strong mind in him. A friend's circle and a lot of other guys supported him. Over time, he realized that she ain't worth it. So he went outside the marriage and hooked up with a woman at his work. We are in the same company, but in different departments. Both of them were digital artists. So Will met Helena. She was much younger than him. He introduced her to me and said, I'm gonna enjoy my life. She was like a model, like video game spy characters. They had several hookups and, like, they are couples. He was happy and never cared about Jane. Things got to start a turn when Jane noticed him being happy and felt like he's been distant. So she confronted me and asked whether Will was seeing someone and how he's doing, but I lied. So on Christmas, she confessed to her husband that she is having an affair for over a year. That she realizes how precious their marriage is and how amazing Will is. Will hit his tears and asked her about the details. She said it was a mistake and it's over, and we can be together again. He said it's over between them, and he needs a divorce and asked her to leave. So she went to her mom's house and kept calling and texting all day. During this time, Will had made a separate account and moved his funds in there and opened new accounts and several new banks. They withdrew from the joint account and kept half the money for her. She cried and begged not to divorce her. By that time, Will had moved on. And Jane did a suicide attempt and told Will that she'll do anything, and she couldn't live without him, and she'll do anything. Will didn't even bother to visit her at the hospital. After the discharge, she came to his home and told all of this. He said he needed some clarification and asked her to start talking. As she lies, no second chance, and nothing. So she told him that he was a local mechanic, and she felt lonely and she missed her youth and wanted to feel it again. So first, it started by her car breaking down and meeting him, 
exchanged their numbers. Over a month, it turned sexual. The relationship was a hot and steamy affair. He wanted to know where she was at their son's birthday and their anniversary. She told him she was with him, and she was having sex and when he called for their son's birthday, that she he told him she was late busy at work. And then in the anniversary, she went for a ride with the affair partner and had sex several times that day. She even brought him to an apartment. Will was crushed hearing that and called her names from A to Z. She says she's sorry. And thinks about our son. And we can be his papa and mama again. He said it was a mistake meeting her. And he's fed up with her. And she is dead meat to him. She held his legs and begged not to leave her. Or that she'll do anything. And the affair partner doesn't mean anything. The affair partner is a 27-year-old guy who cheated on Jane and dumped her a week before Christmas. She was emotionally attached to affair partner, and me and Will knew it. After several pleading and counseling, Will took her back, not because he loved her, it's because he didn't have a choice. In our country, adultery isn't default and divorce, but in order to do so, you need hard evidence. If you can't prove it, then you are effed. You need hard proof to win against her in court, and Will didn't have any hard evidence. He was busy with Helena all the time, but he had other plans in mind. He laid rules. She had no choice to accept it. Cleaning the household is her duty and laundry. She has to obey anything he says, or else she's out. Always ready for sex whenever he wants or should do any acts he says. All her email, phone, account details, and password should be known to him. He became cold towards her. After sex, he kicks her out of the room and says this is his bed and you can sleep in the guest bed. And often, he comes late at home. He calls her by the first name and shouts and curses her for silly mistakes. She soon found out about Helena and confronted him, and he told her the door is open. You can leave if you'd like. Jane often visits my wife and asks for advice on what to do to save her marriage. She gives tips and advice. My wife was really sad about her. Jane told my wife that she often gets rejected and will never lets her sleep in the same bed. In one day, she dresses up and went to him, but he made fun of her and told her to grow up. She's a mess now. I even feel pity for her. Will often says to his girlfriend that his wife is an old cow and she ain't good as she is. Things get cruel when she learns Will is going on a business trip with Helena. It shattered her, and Will told her he's not her, and they are just friends now. But I knew what they were. And in the company party, we were supposed to bring our spouses to it. Jane was looking forward to this, but Will turned her down and said we need to work things out. And when he went single. And he was with Helena all along. Helena was understanding, and they're like a couple. They do everything a couple's do. Wills told Helena that he would leave Jane when his son is 18, and he told me that too. He treats her like crap. He doesn't do physical abuse, but does mentally, like if she doesn't clean the table, he would say, Mr. Mechanic would do that. And if anything she doesn't do in the bedroom, he mentions her infidelity and guilts her saying it's all her fault. I don't know where this is gonna end. I think he stayed because of his son. He doesn't care about money, but he's ruthless to Jane now. Things have been going like this. And Jane comes to my wife, her solace. Okay. Let's see what the community has to say. I'm a scat man says. I hate cheating as much as anyone, but this is just wrong. It's unfair to say that her actions has caused him to be abusive as I've seen that in the comments. To accept the justification is to accept a cheater blaming the spouse for cheating. Jane is a vile disgusting cheater and deserves to be divorced. Will is also a vile disgusting cheater. Cheating out of vengeance isn't any better, except he adds the added bonus of being emotionally abusive. Honestly, at the very end, they both deserve each other. Two broken people that are equally crappy as they are broken. I'd rather they both stay together and ruin each other lives instead of being free and destroying more people along the way. Helena is choosing to be in a relationship with a married man so we can add broken and crappy person 3 to the mix. I have this theory that broken people get passed around until the normal smart people filtered out. 
Once enough normal smart people filtered out, these broken people eventually stumble across another broken person and a toxic relationship begins. It's one of the reasons we see so many cases codependent people and relationships with cheaters just abusive partners. The smart ones nope it out of the first hints of a red flag. Lunatic Lemons has the next comment so I definitely see that she f ed up royally. But what I don't understand is why they don't just live separately. They don't have to divorce. She can get an apartment and their son can go back and forth. But to use her as a sex toy, that's so degrading. To be effing his wife essentially like she's a prostitute and to continue to sleep with Helena is so weird to me. Aren't you satisfied with your new partner? Why does he have to torture his wife like that? Also, to constantly degrade her then proceed to do the same thing she was doing to her? Hardly seems like a high road. Seems like both of them are effed in the head and just need to get an actual divorce. Also, the damage that's currently happening to their son by watching their father treat his wife and that boy's mother, unforgivable. That boy is going to suffer for the rest of his life. Ubone Kenobi says, Tragic. The only person I feel sorry for in this story is her child. Their child is seeing all of this. Oh, Pete, does your friend understand how much this will affect his kid? How his behavior is towards his mom? Yeah, I get it. She deserves the karma, but that toxic environment, it's really not good for their kid. The least he can do is find a way to divorce, only for the sake of that kid. They all need therapy at this point individually. JJ Farrow has the next comment Is there no such thing as legal separation in your country? Sounds to me that this is over, and I have no idea why Jane would try to hold on to someone who obviously doesn't want her back after what she did. Even if this dude is now a jerk to her, it's her fault for trying to save hopeless marriage that she broke herself. Seems to me, She's punishing herself in hopes that dude would also take pity on her like you and your wife eventually did. But it's pretty clear he sees her as a broken person and doesn't believe she's worthy of his presence more. They both gotta run. D.O.P. has the last comment. He's not willing to pay a single penny to her. And here, you need hard evidence to prove infidelity. Everything works on proof.